beautiful day in Toyland, but Noddy's car is having a hard time. Gosh, Mr Jumbo, you're kind of heavy. I think you've given my car a squeak. Heavy? Don't look at me. I'm just big bone and very light for my size. Aha! A bolt has come loose. Be right back, Mr Jumbo. I need a spanner to fix that. I'll get Mr Sparks and have it tightened in no time, car. Please hurry, Noddy. I can't wait all day. Hello? Mr Sparks? Are you here? Hmm. I suppose not. This looks like a spanner. I'm sure Mr Sparks won't mind if I borrow it. I hope the spanner will fix the loose bolt. I must make you as good as new. I'll fix the problem easily. One, two, three. This bolt's not right. I'll spin it tight. I'll work as quickly as can be. One, two, three. Hello, Bumpy Dog. <laughs> Looks like you've given your bone a good chew. I'll bet you would like a new one. Can we leave now, Noddy? It's lunchtime and I'm hungry. I'm a growing elephant, you know. I just finished, Mr Jumbo. <coughs> Take good care of your bone, Bumpy. Bye! <laughs> I don't hear a thing, Car. Your squeak must be gone for good. Now all I have to do is take back Mr. Spark's fan around. Oh no! It's gone! Where did I put it? I know. I must have left it on the side of the road. Come on, car. We've got to find it. I can't find the spanner anywhere, car. It's completely gone. Well, I'll just have to tell Mr Sparks what happened and buy him a new one. After all, a spanner is a spanner. They're all the same. Your problem is a loose chain, Big Ears. I have the perfect tool for this problem. A couple of twists from my spanner and your peddler will be pumping again. Where is that spanner? I'm sure I left it right here. Hello, Mr. Sparks. Hello, Big Ears. Good day, Noddy. Um, I've got something to tell you, Mr. Sparks. Not now, Noddy. I'm looking for my spanner. It was right here when I left. Hmm, it must be around here somewhere. Oh, I hope so. I would hate to lose it. I've had it since I was a little boy. It's the first tool I ever got. Oh no, I took Mr. Spox's favourite tool without asking and now I've lost it. Oh. What should I do, Car? I can't tell Mr. Sparks what happened. He wouldn't like me anymore. What to do? What to do? I know. I'll just keep him from thinking about his spanner. That way, he won't miss it, and I won't have to tell him the truth. Wait a minute, Mr. Spot. You don't need to fix this bike. It's fine, see? <gasps> Noddy, wait! Oops. 
Oh, this bike needs fixing, Noddy. Especially after your little ride. Hey, maybe you don't need a spanner, Mr. Sparks. Why not use this tool instead? <laughs> you funny little Noddy. Why you can't fix a bicycle with a saw? Big Ears is right. A spanner is the perfect tool for this job. Let's keep looking. Um, well, then why don't we split up and search the whole garage? You two take the back, and I'll take the front. Good idea, Noddy. Remember, it looks sort of like that red spanner, only it's white. It does? Hmm. Maybe if I paint this banner white, it'll be as good as the one I lost. I found it, Mr. Sparks. I found your white spanner. Good work, Noddy. You... Oh, wait. This is white all right, but it's not the one I'm looking for. Oh. My father gave me that spanner. I know I could buy a new one, but it wouldn't be the same. That one was very special to me, and now it's... gone. Mr. Sparks, hmm? I... I borrowed your spanner without asking. I meant to bring it back right away, but then I forgot. And now I've lost it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You should always ask before you take things, Noddy. I'm sure you wouldn't like it if I took your car without asking. But I'm not really mad at you. You're not? No. I'm just glad you told the truth, because now I know what really happened. Hey, maybe we can find it if we all have a look where you lost it. That's a great idea. I'll show you where it happened. The last time I saw the spanner, it was laying next to Bumpy's bone. Hmm. I wonder if... Here, Bumpy Dog! Hmm? Hello, you. Where's your bone, Bumpy? Can you get your bone? My spanner! Bumpy Dog had it all along! I thought that Bumpy might have mistaken your tool for his bone. They're both about the same size and colour. I'll never borrow anything from anyone without asking first, Mr. Sparks. Glad to hear it, Noddy. And Bumpy will be glad to hear that I'm giving him a brand new bone for keeping my spanner in a safe place. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,